Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I am here today to start my third week of vlogging in September. So it is now Friday, September 13th. Happy Friday the 13th to all those who celebrate. Um, and uh, I think it's the full moon is either today, tomorrow, or Sunday. So lots of fun energy going to be going on. Um, and yeah, so I have a very structured TBR for the month of September. So it felt like a good time to do reading vlogs for the month. I'm strongly focusing on my Stacking the Series, which is a year long challenge. Um, that is hosted over at Sarah from Steeped in Books, her Goodreads group, which I will link down below. Um, and I am hoping to finish off three series this month. And I am in the middle of, is it three series? Yes, three series. <laughs> I had a moment there. Um, on the How to Train Your Dragon series, which I'm doing quite well with. I've read two of the books on my TBR. I have just the final book to read, so that's good. Um, I also want to read uh, The Giver Quartet. I am in the middle of the second book out of four and not loving it, but uh, you know, I'll get to that when I talk about the books a bit more. Um, and then I also want to finish off the very short introductions. I decided to read eight this year, and I am currently reading a very short introduction to Shakespeare, which will be my eighth and final pick for the uh, for the year. So that's really good. I also, yesterday I did finish off the book on Maybon, uh, the recipes, rituals, and lore, which in Maybon is the fall equinox, so it's on the 23rd this year. Um, so that's one more book read. And so from this month alone, I have read four out of the nine titles for stacking the series. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um, my plan going forward for this week will be to uh, finish Gathering Blue, which is the second in the Giver Quartet, finish the How to Train Your Dragon series. Oh my gosh. Uh, continue the Shakespeare book. I think trying to, I think I'll try and finish it by the end of the month. They're very short, but they're quite dry. So I'm not going to push on that one. Um, and um, so that's what I'm doing for stacking the series. And then I'm also working on trying to figure out how I feel about three particular series um, that I likely won't finish by the end of the year. But I want to be resolved in how I feel about them as a part of the challenge. Um, and those three series are Women of the Other World by Kelly Armstrong, uh, the Numa Files by Clive Kessler, and, 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 what's the third series? Boston Fire series by uh, Shannon Stacy, which is a contemporary romance. Now, I've started the next book in both Boston Fire and Women of the Other World, <clears throat> and I'm leaning towards continuing to read the series, but at my own pace. Um, but for this week, I would like to decide how I feel about one series. Um, I, that was also my goal for last week, and I didn't quite hit it, um, but I did progress on how I was feeling about it. So, But the goal for this week will be decide, finalize how I feel about any of the three series that I'm feeling unsure about. Um, and then I have some other goals for the month. I have a bunch of library books that are out. Um, I need to read volume eight and nine of Saga because uh, they will expire within the week. I need to actually read volume eight of Saga within the next like two days. Um, so there's that. And then I have some physical library books that need to be returned, um, including Blade of the Immortal 20 and 21, a uh, Goosebumps book called Piano Lessons Are Murder, um, and Aquacorn Cove. Um, and yeah, so those are my goals for the week. Um, and if I get my sort of daily tally of reading done, I do have another book that I really want to read. It came in from the library. It was just released last week, um, and I requested it from the library, so I was first in line. So I really do want to read it. But once I finish all my other pages for the week, I want to read Gideon the Ninth by... Tamsin Muir. It's the first in the new series. And I think, okay, so here is a, a blurby quote on the front, or what's it called? When another author writes something that there's a name for it, I can't remember. Uh, Lesbian necromancers explore a haunted gothic palace in space. I'm not even going to read the second line. Lesbian necromancers gothic palace in space. Yeah, all of that, all of that. Big thank you and shout out to Elizabeth uh, Books and Pieces who mentioned the book on a recent-ish uh, anticipated uh, SFF releases for the next for the rest of the year. And yeah, I asked my library to get it and they did. So thank you to the Toronto Public Library and thank you to Elizabeth. So there you go. Those are my plans uh, for the week as they stand. And I will share with you my reading as it goes and all of that good stuff. So let's see how this week goes. Hopefully it's a good one. So here is an overview of how my tracking for the month is going um, as we start week three. So this is my page of books that are on my TBR. So I read two out of three, How to Train Your Jack Dragon, 
one and a third of the Giver Quartet, um, a bit of Shakespeare, all of Maybon, go me, uh, a bit of the Green Caros. I also am going to be reading Alana, the first adventure, but I am going to wait till I'm done the How to Train Your Dragon series. These are all Blade of the Immortal and uh, Piano Lessons or Murder, and Aquacorn Cove is here. And then over here is all the stuff I'm reading that's not on my TBR, um, so continuation of books that I started previously, like White Fang, that's why it's blank here, is that I only actually read these pages to like 190 to 245 in this month. Um, and then Sagas are over here most just because I didn't have room on the other page, they actually sort of are on my TBR. They were an afterthought which is sacrilege because Saga is awesome. So anyway, so that is how my two-page spread looks as we start week three. And then this are, is my daily tally page. And I have lots of finishes. All the stars are finishes. So I had quite a finish streak going on there. Three days over there. Three on a day, which is epic. Two, one, one. Yeah, so doing pretty good. Have read a lot of pages. A lot of pages. So I think I'm actually in pretty good shape. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I have finished another book for Stacking the Series, and it is the Maybon book, uh, Rituals, Recipe, and Lore for the Autumn Equinox. I wanted to finish this before the 23rd, which is when Maybon is, which is the beginning of fall, and I have so finished. And uh, yeah, so that is really good. That's my fourth book for my Stacking the Series TBR for the month, which has nine books total. So I'm almost at the halfway point and um, it's not yet halfway through the month. So I feel pretty good about that. I am, I can feel myself being distracted. I talked about this a little bit last week about the Book to Best of F awards and I want to read the backlist and I want to get strategic about reading things that could be, have potential um, later books in series uh, uh, nominated next year. And I, I'm just, I'm so like, I'm just so distracted by wanting to make a list and putting it in my bullet journal and all of this stuff. And I think I'm actually might just sit down and do that. Like just put it in my bullet journal because I keep on thinking about it and I want to think about the books and think about the prerequisites and stuff. And I'm like, I'm just going to make a tea and just do that because if I don't, I'll just keep thinking about it. So that is what is on the agenda. And the Maybon book, which I didn't even really talk about, um, it's a nonfiction book about the holiday of Maybon. I thought it was okay. I've read, it's the seventh out of the eight book series. Um, that's based on all of the holidays and um, I actually didn't, I, I thought it was okay. I didn't enjoy it as much as the other ones. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Maybe I just am not as, keen about the holiday. It's the third harvest. Um, we have Midsummer and then Lunasa and then Maybon. Um, and there's a lot of, whoops, I forgot to turn, turn notifications off. Um, and there is, this one's a bit challenging. It's weird because Samhain is, is about, which is Halloween, is, um, you know, the, the end of the year, the beginning of the year, the, like, you know, transformation, loss, that stuff. But this harvest, actually, it was a little sadder than I thought it would. There was a lot about grief and loss and, and like, because it is the last harvest, right? This is, you know, you reap what you've sown for the year, and that's going to see you through the year. And so there's, there's a melancholy with that. And that's, you know, cycle of life stuff too, right? But I wasn't quite expecting that. So anyway, it was a good read. I'm glad that I read it. And um, in October, I will read the Samhain one and then I will be done that whole stack. I'm very excited about that. I'm really happy I put it on my list this year. It was nice to have nonfiction in the mix, including some nonfiction spirituality books um, that I'm really, really happy. I, I was felt It felt like a clever choice back in de December or January and I'm really happy I did it. So anyway, but for now, I'm going to put tea on and look at the book to best of F backlist and I can't resist any longer. Ah, ah. <laughs> so I looked at my bullet journal cause I was going to start planning. I knew I put some pages aside and uh, yeah, I already pulled the numbers. I already did. Pulled the numbers for all of the awards in all of the years. So I already got the numbers. 
And now it's just about trying to figure out how to put it in my bullet journal. So yeah, I guess apparently this was always the plan. Okay, so I think I got everything sorted. I've made a chart of all of the categories and the number of shortlisted titles plus the prerequisites that I need to read. And now this probably won't come through because it's very much in pencil, but I did set it up. So we have, oh yeah, it's very light. And shadows, there we go. So on a two page spread, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to leave some space at the top for something for the, the year. And I don't know, maybe like a, some kind of visual something like uh, how many, whatever my current status is or something. And then I'm going to put the graphic works, short works, and prerequisites on the left. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to put middle grade. It's not there because there weren't any in this year, but middle grade YA novels. And then as the years goes on, they change from novels into sci-fi, fantasy, and debut. And then they also added middle grade. So I've set up all of the years. And now I just have to figure out what to do about some of the other categories. Let me turn the camera. So now I have to figure out what I want to track because I want to, of course, track if I've read it. <laughs> and then also if I, or if I'm DNFing it or not reading it, um, that's like sort of, you know, the three options there. Because some, there's some that I'm not going to read. Um, and um, I want to indicate if there's a prerequisite. Um, and then I also, I can't decide. This is kind of weird to not know if I want to indicate but I'm not sure if I want to indicate if it was a winner or not, or if I just want to read the short list, regardless of what won. So I'm going to think about that because there's also the there's two generally two winners. There's the judge winner, judges winner, and the popular vote. So I don't know if I want to track that. And then I do think I want to put an indicator for all of the series that um, have potential. Um, titles that could be nominated for next year so because they will be a bit of a priority for the next little while but I might indicate that in pencil so yeah so anyway I you know I had a lot of the information already here and um and I maxed out the uh not the columns the rows um to always be the maximum number of um nominees so if one year something was nominated four times um there were four possibilities I put four rows plus a spacer row, and then I kept all of the formatting the same throughout. Uh, that'll probably make more sense once I show it, um, but I wanted to always have like the, you know, the novels on the left in the middle. So regardless of whether it's novels or sci-fi, or when they switch to sci-fi, all the novels would be on the, actually on the right, on the right in the middle, you know, and middle grade will be at the right at the top, which, and that'll be empty for the first couple of years because they didn't add middle grade until a while. So yeah, so it was, it was interesting. I love, I just, I love systems. So I had a lot of fun just sort of figuring that out, but now I just, before I'm going to write anything and I need to think about what do I want to indicate in terms of have, have I read it? Do I want to put a star rating or is it just good enough that I read it? Do I want to indicate the date that I read it? I don't think so. Or if I read it before this started, like before today, or, you know, does it matter if I read it last year? I think I just, I'm working towards completion. So I want to have the full list of all the awards. And if I've read it or not, I think that's it. And then I also want, I need a spot for the prerequisites. That's the challenging part, especially because some of the prerequisites aren't, are like from a different page count, like a, oh, page count. Do I want page count? So many. So many things. Anyway, I'm having fun with this. I'm probably going to put on an episode. Now that I'm at the point where I can write stuff in, I think I'm going to put on like an episode of, of Supernatural or something like that and just write that re that I'm rewatching and just start writing things in. And um, I think I do need to do a test row in terms of like, so I have the spacing right for if I want to put, I don't want to do it all in pencil first. That's too much. Hmm. Well, still thinking, still processing. I'll show it when it's in pen because then it'll be easier to see. So, yeah, that's where things are at. Yeah, that's doing pretty good. And, and I just want to make sure you're okay. What, like my feelings? Awesome. 2015 done. Except for prereqs. I have to do that separately. I can't tell me what the hell's going on. Okay. 
So I finished doing the shortlist for all of the books for the BookTube SFF Awards, and I am super excited to say that once I read Aquacorn Cove, which I have out from the library and I'm going to be reading this week, once I have read that, I will have read all of the graphic works that have been shortlisted for the book to best of awards from 2015 through 2019. I can't believe it. That entire category will be complete. Yay! So that's super, super exciting. Um, the other thing that I really noticed, um, and I noticed this before, but sometimes when you handwrite things out, you notice things differently. Like there are an extraordinary number of titles um, that are uh, written by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. There's the entire Gathering of uh, Shades of Magic series. There's, I think, two duologies, um, the Monsters of Verity, as well as Vengeful and Vicious. And then there's also City of Ghosts. So I'm like, that is a, like so many, so many. And I started A Darker Shade of Magic, but I'm bunny reading that. So I have to check with my bunny on if we're going to read it or not before doing anything. So I might actually do something weird and because all of the all of the three of the series that were nominated have all been completed so i might actually read city of ghosts which is her middle grade spooky first in series because the second book um actually came out this year so it would be eligible for next year um and given that she is nominated i think she's been nominated for something every year it would make sense to get ahead of the game there and also you know check something out although i did start vicious which is the first book vengeful was nominated this year but vicious is the first in that series and i wasn't feeling it it wasn't bad um but i just i wasn't feeling it it was not great timing so maybe it's time for city of ghosts although i have giddy in the ninth out and that's a very uh, that looks pretty dark, and um, that I have out from the library now, so I should read that first, and that actually will probably be eligible too. So anyway, so it's one of those weird sort of things where you strategize a lot, and it's like, you know, as I'm doing this, I'm also like thinking, what do I want to read? But also, I, what I want to is be in good shape for next year. That's actually what I want, and enjoy things. And I'm happy to DNF stuff. That's one of the, this is one of the few times where I feel like there are too many books and too many series, and if I'm not enjoying anything, I'm happy to DNF it. So there's definitely some DNFs in there, um, or series that I started and didn't enjoy. So any future volumes, I'm not worried about. So it's a bit different. Anyway, but I'm super excited. I am going to read Aquaform and Cove this week, and that will be one entire category done. I might actually work on short works next because then I can get a whole other entire category done and then start the novels. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea. We shall see what I do. Hello and welcome. I'm Kim Skinner and today I'm going to be going over books that I want to read. Okay, so I'm a couple of chapters into Gathering Blue, which is the second book in the Giver Quartet, and I'm really having trouble with it. Um, not the, like, it's easy to read, um, and it's well told, and it feels important in terms of what it, the point is trying to get across, but I really, there's so many things in it that are the reverse of the things that I liked about The Giver. <laughs> You know, and um, the giver shows a utopic society, which is a dystopic society, but um, it does show, um, there's lots of things that are problematic with it, but the, it does show equality, and I'm really having trouble with Gathering in Blue because our protagonist, if it sticks with the same person through the whole thing, um, is, is a woman, a youngish woman, it's hard to tell, um, and she is described as a cripple and she is not valued by her community um and even just as a woman she wasn't even allowed to learn to read and she and i just like i just i don't like inequality i really really don't so i'm having trouble with this i know it, and i know that it's shown to show that this is wrong i imagine this is where the story is going but i just find it so uncomfortable um and the there's so much hate for pretty much everyone towards her, um, you know, and like some active and some passive, like that she has literally, she has no value, like as a, as a person, you know, they, they want to be rid of her. They want her not liked. And I'm just like, you know, and not just like go away, but like really don't care what happens. And I, bleh, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. So I will keep with it. Um, I probably will finish it. I can't imagine DNFing it. I want to finish the series. Um, and it's not long, but 
you know, I just, I don't like these kinds of stories. You know, it's like funny because it's like the giver, it has a message and I didn't, but I didn't feel the message um, until I cared about the characters and I care about this character, but it's like you have, I care about one character and so far everyone else has been portrayed as horrible. Um, whereas the giver, everyone's sort of like even keel. Like it's much more, um, you don't know something could be wrong until later. And this one is like, you know, something's wrong right off the bat. And I just find it uncomfortable. So we shall see. If I stick with it. I forgot to turn notifications off yet again. Sorry about that. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm like four chapters in of 23. So there's lots more to go. We shall see how I do. Alright, welcome to day 14 of September and my third week of reading vlog. I know I've already done some clips so far. Some of them actually are, might be a little bit out of order, so it was a little... I reviewed some of the footage, so it might be a little... not super discombobulating. I tried to put them together well. I have a plan, so hopefully that works out and it makes sense and makes sense that we're now on day 14 and all that good stuff. Uh, the plan for today is I would like to finish Gathering Blue. I have it on my tablet. I would show it, but it's just the text. The cover is just the text, so I'm not going to do that. Um, it's the second book in the Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. I'm not enjoying it. Uh, I'll be frank. Um, I have a feeling it'll have a similar message to The Giver and I'll like it when we get there and all that stuff, but the world is very, very dark and um, people are mean. There's a lot of people who don't have a lot. There's like how people are treated is not very nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in need. Uh, and I just, and, and I also, there's a, there's a artistic question point of view, something being said um, that uh, I don't agree with. And um, at least as it stands, I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, the protagonist is someone who does works with threads and um, like embroidery, sort of, I guess you would say, um, and um, color, so gathering blue. Um, and um, I feel like I, underst I understand where the story is going to be going philosophically, but depending on what their message is in terms of art, I might, <laughs> might have some problems. I might have some problems. Um, which is weird because I really enjoyed what the giver said. So I don't know. So I'm holding out hope for that. So, and I'll probably end up doing a review on that. So it'll be more in depth and talk about the things because it, um, there's lots I have that I want to say, but I don't, I will, I will have to finish the book first and then take it from there. Other stuff I plan on reading, um, I would also like to finish the next volume of Blade of the Immortal, which is volume 20, Demon Lair. Um, and I'm already halfway through this. Um, and I do have the 21st one, which is Demon Lair Part 2. Um, so, and I need to finish these this week because I need to return them to the library as do I need to do with, uh, as I need to do with Goosebumps. Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. I've also started this one. This I don't necessarily have to finish today. I just need to finish this week. That shouldn't be any problem. And I think I would like to also um, get back to Tales of the Greek Heroes. The next one I have to read is... Where's my bookmark? I just used a piece of paper and it's a bit thinner, so it's harder to find. Uh, so the next tale, the next hero we are following is uh, Perseus the Gorgon Slayer and with, so that's the seventh chapter and it's got all the chapter headings have a different line work it's really cool that's like more like feathers and some of the other ones are more like they're all different or at least they're I don't know if every single one is different but so far all the ones I've noticed are different anyway so um I would like to get really solidly into that book this week. Uh, so I might up my game and try and read two per day. They're only about 12 pages each, the different tales, but they are a bit more intensive, uh, a bit more 
thinking required or older text, it's a bit drier. So for me, that's good to read earlier in the day. Um, and yeah, so that's my plan for today. I really need to finish Gathering Blue. One, because I'm not enjoying it and I want to get it done, but also because tomorrow I want to start the next How to Train Your Dragon book, which is the last How to Train Your Dragon book, which means I should tab off the chapters today so that I am all ready to go tomorrow. So that is the plan for today. Um, in addition, I will also be probably be ripping back my sweater are my the sleeve that I did. Um, thank you, Di, for your advice in the comments from my last video. Um, I think I will do that. And um, I just I just didn't. I chose a weird way to do the decreases, and I thought it would work, and it just feels too tight. So I think I'm going to be ripping that back today. Good times, good times. <sighs> Anyway, so that is on the agenda. We shall see what I actually get up to uh, throughout the days. <laughs> and here is how things stand uh, at, as of the end of day 13, beginning of day 14. So I'm very close to the end of Gathering Blue. Just have 60 pages left. Finished Mavon. Greek Heroes. Still, still got a fair amount to go. Hoping to finish Blade of the Immortal today. Oh, I'm more than halfway through. Maybe Goosebumps. We'll see. Probably just some of that. And uh, I did finish Saga Volume 8, uh, which was enjoyable, and uh, I hope to read Saga Volume 9 in the next several days. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where things are. Okay, so I have finished Gathering Blue. Um, I ended up enjoying it more than I expected. It got me, which I should have known, um, but there are things that I didn't like, but they are commentary, and I don't always like stuff that's got commentary, um, like very direct commentary, um, and this really, I can really feel like this is a companion to The Giver. Um, I can't say too much about it without being spoilery, um, but I am glad that I stuck it out. Um, I, I do look forward to seeing where the next story goes. Um, it surprised me, and and the concerns I had and the stuff that it was saying, there was some stuff it was saying about art, I felt like it didn't come back to. So I hope the third book uh, gets clearer on that. Um, but yeah, so happy to have one more done. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going to get up to some other stuff. I want to um, just do some non-bookish things, uh, but I will get more reading done today. But that was the main goal, was to finish Gathering Blue, and I did, so yay. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five out of nine for my stacking series books for the month, and it's the 14th, so I guess, you know, that's about halfway through the month and halfway through the book, so I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, I do, I forgot to mention, I do want to get back to reading the very short introduction to Shakespeare, because these this takes me a long time to read. So uh, now that I'm done something else, the Maybon book. I'm going to get back to the Shakespeare book. So yeah, so five done, four to go, and three decisions. Still got to work on the decisions. Not today, though. Today I just feel like finishing stuff. <laughs> Okay, so it is now day 15, and I think things are going pretty well. I have finished four out of the five titles. I thought I finished five. Oh, I forgot to knock off the giver part two, Gathering Blue. Okay, so I finished five of the nine titles for my stacking the series, and uh, no change on the rest of the board um, for today, but I'm feeling pretty good about that because we are halfway through the month, being the 15th, and I'm just halfway through the the nine titles so that feels good and I did my reading plan today um for the this week and I am going to switch for the rest of this month I am going to switch to have my reading plan be 
to follow the week of the vlog as opposed to the week I normally do, which is Sunday through Saturday. So I'm going to do my reading plan till the end of this vlog. So I am hoping to finish How to Train Your Dragon number 12. I did start this last night. It is a longer one at 490 pages. So I read about 50 pages yesterday, which leaves me at 150 pages a day to finish in three days, which is pretty optimistic, but it's possible. And if I split that into two sessions, it's 75 and 75, which isn't too bad. So the goal is to finish this during this vlog. I also hope to read two each of the Greek myths um, throughout the next several days till I'm done. And I decided to amp up this one because I think I would like to be finished before I start reading Alana the First Adventure. Um, because um, although that's fantasy, it could have mythic-y elements. I don't know. I just feel like I try not to read more than one of the same genre at the same time. So I think it would be a good idea to be done my fantasy reading because it's sort of fantasy. It's not fantasy because it's mythology, but it's similar. So I'll be done my two fantasy titles for the time I start Alana, which I'll probably start next Saturday or Sunday. Um, and I'm getting back to a very short introduction to Shakespeare. This is going to be a little bit a day, and um, that's my main focus for now. In addition to all of my library books, I still have Blade of the Immortal and Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> and more Blade of the Immortal <laughs> and Aquacorn Cove and I also have Saga so my plan is to just finish one library book a day um, and um, and yeah and then the How to Train Your Dragon and there's other pages what are my other pages and the Greek myths. So that's my plan for the for every day. And then once I finish that, I can read whatever I want, including Gideon the Ninth, which I haven't started yet. Um, I'd like to read um, uh, one of the the next book in the Accidental series by Michelle Willingham. And I do also want to check out the um, actually these two Parasite and Vagabond, those two mangas, uh, to see if I want to read them. So that's how things have been going. Um, and I didn't get tons of reading done yesterday. I think I. I was watching a lot of movies. <laughs> um, and sometimes they're like that. It's good to make things have variety. I did make progress on my sweater. So I will show show that. Thank you to Die for mentioning to rip it back. Um, and I did. And um, I did. There was one part that I didn't do well. I think, I think I thought I missed. I dropped a stitch, but I didn't. It was just loose. And I decided to get creative on how to tighten it. And that was a bad choice, especially since I didn't have a crochet hook. But anyway, decision made. Um, I haven't tried it on, but it's going really quickly, so that's good. Um, so I'll show you that. And I did also finish, oh, I finished Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is not part of my um, TBR. Uh, it was just a book I was already currently reading. It is a nonfiction productivity book, and it's about like my a a atomic, like small, very small habits and making changes in that kind of way. I found it very inspiring. He, the um, author narrated it himself. Um, and uh, I really liked it. I listened to it via Scribed. I want to go to his website and sign up for his newsletter and also there's lots of downloadable type stuff from the website. So he says, um, sometimes with audiobooks, I don't know, everything is a bit different. Every site is a bit different on whether or not, like, usually you can just access them, but sometimes I have a hard time finding them. He always gave the URL, so I wrote the URLs down. It's always like atomichabits.com slash journal or newsletter. It was very clear. So I am hoping that it is the case once I get to the website. Um, but I really enjoyed it. If you're interested in productivity and habit formation, it's a good one to go to. Um, and yeah, so I want to do some journaling on some of the questions there. And uh, but that was good. I just realized I was like in the second last chapter. So this morning, I just like boom, went all the way through. All right, let's take a look at my sweater. I just decided to try it on and <laughs> so you can see where it's at. I am literally at my elbow, which is where I was before, and it does not feel tight at all. So I'm very happy with the decision that I made to um, rip it back and start the decreases and do the decreases every fourth row instead of every third row. So that looks so much better. Unfortunately, there is one spot. I don't know if I can get the light just right. There is one spot. Oh, I can't find it somewhere in there that I don't like. Okay, I think the light, I'm trying to get the light right. Not there. There, you see it? That one line of oh, that looks all twisted? That's the one I don't like. But given it took me this hard to, this long to find, and it's on 
the underarm. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I mostly don't like how it feels. It really does feel twisted, but I'm not going to rip it back because it was too loose. Like I really did look like I dropped a stitch. I think I just didn't pull um, stitches tight enough when I was um, either picking them back on or doing the magic loop. I think I just left a little too much yarn and so that happened. There is one spot on this arm I do, I will have to darn because there's a hole. Like it's not a drop stitch place but it definitely is big enough that it needs some help. So um, and but it's on a seam so it would be easy-ish and this was just in the middle of it and I thought it was on the top of the sleeve. <laughs> Good thing I tried it on. So I'm gonna let that that go because I think the rest of this the rest of the sweater I think looks really great. I think the stitching I did a really good job. I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna let that be my one mistake on my left underarm. Who is going to know other than me and you, right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. So yeah, so this is feeling good. I just should um take a measurement and also uh and and or just keep decreasing or whatever. The most important thing though is to, I think will be to note what I'm doing so that I can do the same thing on the other side. Um, but I have my little cheat sheet, but it's different than where the regular pattern is. So got to put it all together uh, and make sure I can do the same thing on the other side. So hopefully maybe I did all of this last night. I ripped it back yesterday and put like a good, I don't know, 30 rows in. So maybe I can finish this sleeve super soon and get started working on the next one and uh, then still be done this this um month that would be so great if i could be done this month that actually fits pretty good so i know you can only you can't really tell that much so but yeah so i'm happy i'm very happy now thank you die so much for saying just rip it just rip it <laughs> it was the right choice <laughs> so it is several hours since my last clip and i haven't done any reading <laughs> <laughs> but I have done a lot of filming mostly for a project that is going up in October and I'm really excited because I just sort of finished. I still have to do a couple things for it but um, but the goal for today was met and so I'm very excited. So I just wanted to take a moment to celebrate <laughs> even though I can't say what it is. I'll announce it right at the end of September and um, it's been a lot of work and uh, it's been a lot of fun and um, I can't wait to finish it. I have a couple more things to do but I'm just like oh, I've spent all this time filming and it's like I should be getting ready to read but like my brain is like toast. So anyway I am going to get some lunch and then probably do some knitting and maybe like watch a tv show or watch some Netflix or something and relax for a bit and then do some reading because um I have lots of pages I have lots of pages to read today so I gotta get to that So it is now day 16 and uh, got a little distracted and thrown off today so I didn't do my update early in the day so we have lots of not the best lighting but let's get through this anyway. Um, I did finish Blade of the Immortal 20 yesterday so yay. I also got my 150 pages in for How to Train Your Dragon number 12. Uh, I'm going to read another 150 today. I've been splitting up to 75 and 75 which works well and I timed one of those and it was 35 minutes so um, it is quite fast reading um, and uh, so that gives me a good sense of how much time to put aside to it for reading it and I should finish it tomorrow if you can believe it. I did also read two of the Tales of the Greek Heroes. Um, one or both was about Heracles, um, which I always want to say Hercules, but they do say in the book that Hercules is the Roman pronunciation or spelling, actually, or both, actually. <laughs> um, and then in this one it has it as Heracles. So they had the birth, I think, and then like a tr uh, tr the beginning of the trials, and there's more. The next several are about Heracles. I always think Hercules. Hercules! Na, 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 Hercules! <laughs> the TV show. Um, I also got some pages in for Goosebumps. Uh, piano lessons or murder so that was good. Um, today is you know the same stuff so 150 pages of How to Train Your Dragon to Tales of the Greek Heroes as well as finishing any library book. Um, yesterday was Blade of the Immortal but I could read the next Blade of the Immortal, I could finish the Goosebumps book, I could read Aquacorn Cove or Saga number nine. 
any of those. So yeah, that's where things stand today. As I mentioned, I am a bit off kilter. I'm a little grumpy. I <laughs> got just sort of into a time sink of things to do. And so that's got me a little frustrated, but I'm going to rest and read some How to Train Your Dragon and that should cheer me up. I am enjoying it, which is good. Um, and uh, we will see how things go from there. He promised he would refill his insulin two days ago. I should have just done it for him. So it is now Tuesday and I haven't done any clips today or very minimal. Uh, just the day got away from me a little bit and um, had some things to do and I'm really tired and, you know, I'm grumpy. Again, I've been grumpy a lot. I think this part of it is not to do with reading so much, but um, like in terms of my read, let's just take the glasses off. I just won't see very well. Um, I think um, part of it, what uh, with having such a, strictish TBR for the month is now that we're halfway through the month I'm kind of like ooh, like it's the slump the slump time and um, when I was reading Atomic Habits he talked about one of the things in terms of people who maintain habits over a long period of time it isn't necessarily things like passion um, or drive that or maybe more passion that get you through it's being able to work through the boredom <laughs> And it's not that I'm bored with my books, but I do like creating TBRs and stuff like that. And I don't tend to do month-long challenges. I tend to do readathons that are a week. That's sort of the sweet spot for me. It's enough time to dedicate to something and feel like I can accomplish something. But more than a week, it feels a bit a bit of a grind. And um, and less than a week feels a little too off. Although I do like the create your own readathon because you get to make your own rules uh, over the weekend. So that has lots of flexibility to it. So anyway, so I'm like, st I'm grumpy, grumpy and I'm tired and stuff, but I want to um, finish how to train your dragon number 12 tonight. Um, I didn't get as much reading last night as I had hoped. So I have about 200 pages left, which is a fair amount, even though it is kids book and stuff like that. Um, so I think I really need to focus on my library books. Um, my plan was to finish them by the end of this vlog, um, even though they're not due until a couple of days later. And I really need to stick to that plan because now I'm actually going to the library earlier than I expected. So um, it's like all the library books. I got to read them all, read them all. So hopefully I can finish How to Train Your Dragon 12 tonight, as well as the Goosebumps book I'm working on. Um, and um, I need to start Aquacorn Cove. Um, because I don't know how long that'll take to read. It's, not, it's a graphic novel. It's over there. It's out of reach. So, yeah, and, um, so, and that's not what I've read today. What I've read today, it was Dime Store Magic, actually, which is part of the Women of the Other World, which is the series that I'm trying to make my decision on. And I think I'm getting close to a decision. Um, maybe I'll share it at the end of this vlog, um, because part of what I decided to do was not talk about it, so I can just sort of, like, have my own experience of it. Um, and I haven't done this this year. Um, often each year I'll do, um, a secret read <laughs> um and i'll just i'll read something without sharing it on social media because i share what i'm reading all the time and 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 that's great you know usually i love it but there is something about just keeping something to yourself in terms of having an individual experience of it if you've never done it i would i would recommend trying it and just seeing how it feels um i often pick a title that is very popular um or renowned or something uh, because I don't always like really popular books, whether they're classics or they came out this year. So that's usually what I would go with because I don't like it's if you don't talk about it, you're less influenced. Um, and so it's an interesting experience. I'm not pro or against sharing or not sharing. I'm just saying it's worth trying if you haven't tried it before. Anyway, so um, yeah, but for me, library books. And I should get some Greek heroes in as well. But I'm so tired. I, I don't know how much it's going to get read. So tomorrow is, um, I would, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just stick with today today. I'm just going to try and keep 
reading. Uh, I would also, I think my sweater, I think I'm getting to the point where I can change to two, two by two ribbing for the cuff, but um, I need to try it on. And I'm too tired for a judgment call, so I'm just going to finish the rows to, and get it to a divisible by four row that feels the right length, and then tomorrow or the next day I will try it on and see how it feels. Because I would love to finish one sleeve by this vlog, and the next sleeve by the next vlog, and then the collar by the last vlog. It would just make me so, 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 so very happy, um, and I just want to keep on going with it. So, yeah, so that's where things as are they stand. There's one too many or one too few words there, but I think I already said I'm tired, so I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully I get some reading done, or I might end up just sleeping. We shall see. Hey, I think I've got my sweater at a good length to change the cuff, but as I said, I am not going to do that until I try it on, and I'm not going to do that today because judgment, don't have it, we'll do it later, so. But I got two divisible by four, so now I can do two by two stitching. It feels way too big for my wrist, but the ribbing will make it smaller. So fingers crossed that that works. I guess I can count it off on the bottom seam because I did two by two ribbing. If I really wanted to, I could count off 48 stitches, put them in the round, and see how that feels as a cuff. Hopefully tomorrow I'll remember that idea. So here are all the books that I'm hoping to finish in the next two days. Plus, plus I forgot one. I got one from Overdrive. Plus Saga Volume 6. So these five books in the next sort of 24 to 36 hours. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Most of them have already started. Actually, just two. Just two. Oh boy. Oh. I actually don't want to open it because I don't want to give any spoilers, so just pretend you see me opening the book. <laughs> so it's like later. <laughs> I don't remember when I did my last clip. It's around 11. I have read about 100 pages of How to Train Your Dragon 12, and it's really good. It's really good. It's the finale of a 12 book series, and it's getting near the end, and I'm getting like all like. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really tired, so I kind of think I might put it to the side and maybe read it in the morning or tomorrow, even though today was my deadline. But I don't want to. I don't want to leave the big finale to a time where I'm going to be so tired that I'm going to have trouble remembering what exactly happened. So I think I might leave that to the side. I put up an Instagram poll asking people if I should read Aquacorn Cove or Saga Volume Nine. Of course, I want to read something right now, so that doesn't help. <laughs> but I might switch over to Piano Lessons Can Be Murder, because I might be able to finish this tonight. I'm on page 60, and there, it's about 120 pages. Um, I also read another mystery in the Lemony Snicket's uh, All the Wrong Questions companion book. It's not this one. Wow, you can't... Let's see, can you get anything? So the next one is Silver Spoon. The one I, I think the one I just read was called Bad Board. I read it while I was having dinner. And uh, I don't usually eat and read at the same time, um, but I did. So I read one story, was able to read one story while I ate. And now I made a tea, but it made an herbal tea, a ginger peach. Because um, I can just feel, I'm so tired, I'm going to fall asleep. And I kind of feel like I could use the sleep, so I'm trying not to. I do make regular tea, although I've had like two teas and three coffees today, so it's not like it makes a huge difference. So, anyway, hopefully I will read more, but I'm not feeling super optimistic. I might read another mystery, because they're fun, and this one's only 12 pages, and it's not on my list. <laughs> but I want to give the Instagram poll some time, so... Maybe I'll read a story, and I'll read some goosebumps, and then see what the results are and then see which to pick up next. And if I get awake awake, then I will continue How to Train Your Dragon. So we'll see. I thought I was gonna, wasn't gonna do any clips today and I've done like so many, so I guess when I'm tired, I just ramble. <laughs> okay, that's it for now.
Okay, so it is now day 18, and I don't actually have more finishes. I did mark off the ones I forgot to mark off, but no finishes last night. That's actually not true. I did finish Goosebumps. Oh, I forgot to mark that off. So one finish, one soul finish, and um, yeah, I didn't finish How to Train Your Dragon. Got too tired, so I'm going to work on that today. I did read two more of the Greek hero stories, which was great, and I was able to finish off, I think, the Hercules ones, and uh, then they introduce a character, Theseus, um, and so I think then we're going to go check out what Theseus gets up to, so that'll be interesting. And um, yeah, so I am on like major, gotta finish the library book, so I have to finish the How to Train Your Dragon book, I have to finish both Aquaporn Cove and Blade of the Immortal. <laughs> and I would like to check out Parasite and Vagabond. Even if I don't read them all, I would like to check them out enough to see if I want to read them next year when I'm back to the library, because this will be my last uh, library trip for the year, like uh, the returning of the library trip. And I hope I remember to renew my card, because that would be really annoying to go and then forget and then have to go back. Although they added online renewal this year. I don't know if I qualify for that. I don't know how you qualify or not qualify, but some people can do it. Some people can't. Anyway, um, but it's a great addition to the service. So yay, go library. Um, so yeah, the plan for the today is finish all the library books and I have to do some vlogging. I've got full makeup on, so doing some vlogging today. Um, and although I think my eyeshadow is a little a little heavier on this side than that side. It's amazing. I should, I, I should, should have checked that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when my eyes are open, I can't tell, I can barely see the shadow at all. That's not what I was going to talk about. So the goal for the day is to finish all the library books. Still grumpy. I think this is the mid-month thing. Um, because one of the challenges, one of the ways to stick to a TBR is also not to read anything that's not on it. And I'm, my, the eyes are starting to wander and I want to check out new things, especially since the Giller uh, long list was announced. It was actually announced on the 3rd. It's usually in the middle of the month, but it was the 3rd. It's the Canadian fiction, um, big one of the, it's the Giller and the Governor Jell Award are two of the big uh, Canadian awards. Um, and so, yeah, so the Gillers were nominated and um, I found out through the Poptimist did a video uh, because he's a delegate for TIFA, the Toronto International something festival of authors not sure i'll put the link to his video up above um so that was awesome to hear that he is a delegate um i love his channel um anyway so yeah so he had mentioned the gillers and i was like what they're nominated they're out what's that, what's that? so yeah they're already um out so anyway so yeah but no no giller reading for me yet although that being said there was only one available from the library right away and the other 11 titles are on uh you know i put on hold actually one of them wasn't available at all yet so because they're all new releases of course margaret atwood's the testaments is nominated that was no surprise um yeah so okay now i'm just talking about book awards but yeah so one of the challenges about keeping i think i'm seeing one of the challenges of being successful on a strict tbr also means not reading other things and I'm not a huge fan of that and that's why this is good to do I think every once in a while because I have a goal in sight an end goal of sight of working on the stacking the series but it's not something I'd want to do every month um, or even every week I like having some flexibility in my TBRs and I'm just feeling it's not only sticking to it that's got me grumpy I'm just oh man I'm just grumpy these days so anyway I'm trying to work through that hopefully finding out what happens to Hiccup and his friends and the whole, you know, Viking world and stuff um, will, like, all the whole, the big whole story there will be, um, will be good. It was also, it's emotional. It's, I think I mentioned that in one of the clips last night. If any of the clips from last night made it, I was so tired. Maybe I shouldn't include them. I don't know. I will have already made that decision by the time you see this. Um, so yeah, plan today's read a lot <laughs> and get my vlogs done. And watch the Great Canadian Banking Show. Oh, Great Canadian Banking Show. It's, it's going to be the first new show that I watched this year. It's its third season. Um, it's on the CBC. And um, yeah, so that's the first going to be the first new show. Most TV comes back next week. And I still haven't uh, looked at the schedule quite just yet. I've looked at the like what's on when schedule, but not the when things start schedule. Most of my shows start in October because I mostly watch stuff that's on the CW. But there's some new shows starting next week. Prodigal Son. Um, 
Oh, I don't know if it starts next week. That's when it's with Michael Sheen. I'm just, oh, I am already tangenting. So anyway, TV on the mind, but got to get the reading done. So we shall hopefully both of those will happen today. Get some books read, watch the great Canadian baking show and do some vlogs and all the other things. I don't know. My list is really long. All right. I'm going to go start doing stuff. So yay. Okay, so it is now day 19, I think. It's the 19th of September. It is! Okay, so that's going to be the last day of this vlog, so this will be my last check-in. Um, I actually did end up finishing a whole whack ton of stuff, including the last How to Train Your Dragon. It was good. It was good. It took me longer than expected. I was really tired. I'm really tired today. I finished four things yesterday. Ah, yeah, sleep. Who needs it? Anyway... <laughs> Everyone, everyone needs sleep. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, last in a long series. I think it did a good job. Um, this one was rather long. Um, most, as opposed to the last couple, where I felt like they went a little too long. And this one, a couple times here and there. But generally, um, I thought it was like a good length of things. And um, they'd used one device that I'm not a huge fan of, but they didn't overdo it. Anyway really happy that I uh, read the series, that I finished the series. Uh, it's a little bittersweet as often ending a book series because you don't get to see the characters again. I guess I could watch the movies, although as I understand it, the they're quite different. Um, and um, yeah, oh, now I'm, now I'm major, major DreamWorks film. I have seen the first one, but now I feel like I can watch the rest, um, even though there's not a huge crossover if I understand. So yeah, yeah, emotional read, um, but really good. And that is uh, one series done. And so for this stacking the series, I'm looking to finish two more series, The Giver Quartet and the, the my allotment of very short introductions. I haven't been reading my Shakespeare one because I've been focused on my library books, although I did start the third title in The Giver uh, Quartet, which is called Messenger. I think I just wrote three over there. Silly me. Um, not loving it, but understanding some of the connections. Uh, you know, I will continue to work on it. I will talk about it more in the next vlog, although because it's the third in series, won't talk about it super specifically. But I think I'm on track to to finish that series this month as well. So fingers crossed. So yeah, so this is one not only one book done, but one series done. Twelve books. Wow. It took I think I started last fall. I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, some other titles that I read. I did read um, Aquacorn Cove. This is by Katie O'Neill. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. This was one of the Booktube SFF nominees um, this year. I really like the art. Um, it's uh, got a really interesting... Someone decided to add their own art. <laughs> it's a library copy. It wasn't me. Um, I like the color palette too. There's a really nice blues and oranges. Um, but this is this is a quite a younger title, like middle grade or maybe slightly younger, I'm not sure. And it very much is a message book. It is very much about the environment. Um, it's, that's very clear um, the entire time. But it, you know, I, you know, it's not over the top and I knew that going in, so that made the difference. But it is one more booktube SFF nominee. And with this actually, with reading this, I have now read every single graphic work that has been shortlisted for the Booktube SFF Awards from 2015 to 2019. So, yes! Achievement unlocked! <laughs> um, I did also finish off Blade of the Immortal number 21, uh, Demon Lair 2. Um, and this is a, I felt like this is a good place to leave the series for now. I will start it back up next year when I get back out to the library next year. Um, I could have left it at the last one as well, but this one's a little better. This one ends a uh, longer, a multi-volume arc, so it is a good spot. Um, although it was, I would have been happy leaving it at the previous one on a more personal level. That would have been just as fine as well. I almost didn't make it through this because I was really tired. I do, like, generally, I like the... Oh, it's so... Whoa, yeah, can't really 
show a lot of the art. I want to show what the normal art looks like. Maybe this one. So the art, there's lots of action scenes. So that's one. But this one had a couple of um, more refined pencil work in these spreads. I wish, like, this is one of the very few titles that I enjoyed reading it digitally better because there was no in the crease, you know? Like you saw the full, full and flat, the whole shot. But it was good. I enjoyed it, um, which is nice because there were some of the some of the 16 to like some of the ones I've read, like in sort of the 16 to 21, I was sort of okay on, or maybe it was more in the 13 to 14. I can't remember. So anyway, so I finished those off. I also read Saga Volume 9. So I'm now up to date with Saga. Go me. And I have actually finished all of the library books I had, physical and digital. So and in terms of my library trip, I am returning to the library and I am returning and have read all of these books all of them. And the only ones I haven't read were the two that I decided not to return last time because I thought I would check them out to see if I wanted to read them uh, this time or later. And that's Vagabond and Parasite. I looked through both of them. I definitely want to read Vagabond. If I really like the art. I really like the art. My goodness gracious. Um, there's see, They have some great, especially portrait shots, like the cross-hatching on the faces. Oh my goodness. So, so very good. Um, it might be a little similar. I think it's historical. Is it historical? It's historical. Lots of fighting, which I think, I think is what I like. So it might be good to start it next year. Um, because this year I finished off or got caught up with Golden Camelot. So, um, not too bad to have some distance with that and something to look forward to. Parasite, I think I will also read, but like, wow, it is so weird. And it's like super creepy. With these, I don't even, I don't even understand. Will I ever understand? I don't know. But, but then, and then, like, a cat? Like, and then, the one thing that feels like it might be a slight hesitation is there is lots of boxes and dialogue, which might mean it might take a bit longer to read, but that shouldn't super be deterrent, but like, ugh. Ah, so, that's scary. And I think it would be nice to have a different genre in the mix because a lot of what I've been reading has been historical with lots of fighting because <laughs> I've been reading Golden Camelot and Blade of the Immortal. So I do want to read Vagabond though. It's it's gorgeous. So I will read it next year. So that I think is how this ended off is going to end off. I did read one more Greek tale last night on Theseus. Um, I didn't make it through two. I was too tired. I hit over 500 pages yesterday. A lot of that was illustrated works. I read the entirety of Aquaborn Cove, Saga Volume 9, and Blade of the Immortal. I hope I'm not burning myself out. That's a lot to read. Um, today I need to read some of the um, of Messenger, um, but I might take it a bit light today and then more start the week on Friday because my brain is like done. But I had to get these back. I have to get these back to the library. So that that is was the priority. And um, yeah, so I think things went well. I get, actually, I will do just a quick shot of my sweater. Um, I didn't get a chance. To, I did try it on this morning and it goes to about here. So I think I need about two to three inches of straight knitting or, or some just no decreased knitting. And then I'll start the ribbing. I might start the ribbing and do it pretty long because I like to fold back the cuff. So the next, I, you know, I'm a little like, I don't feel like I want it any thinner. I don't want the sleeve any thinner than it is. So it feels like it's a good time to go with no decreases. So I did reduce the rows to being divisible by four. Um, and I took notes. So when I do the other sleeve, it should be fine. So I wanted to have that sleeve done by this time, but I wasn't up to trying it on, which feels like ridiculous. But I think it's better than um, making a bad judgment call is just taking taking some time. So I will flip to showing you what it looks like, even though it's not that much different from last time, but why I said I was going to do it, so I am going to do it. Okay, so here is the sweater. There's a full shot of it, and this is how the sleeve is going. Um, it's not long enough yet, even though I do, my arms aren't super long. They are longer than that. So yeah, I'm going to switch to some straight knitting there and then figure out when to do the cuff. And then after that, I will cast on the other sleeve. So I am pretty happy 
with how it has gone. So there you have it. We come to the end of the week three vlog for September. So I think I've done well for stacking the series. I have read one, two, three, four, five, six of the nine books and completed one of the four series. That's not too shabby. And I read all of my library books. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. Um, uh, hopefully next week will be good. Um, I have a feeling this, this video is going to be pretty long, but all of my vlogs are long. So I might as well just own it. I'm just going to own that. My vlogs are long. That's how they are. That is how they are. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you next week with another vlog. And this weekend, I should hopefully have my summer reflection, um, reading reflection up on Sunday. Um, if, you know, this vlog, vlog wasn't enough, <laughs> there will be more on the weekend uh, about how my reading went this summer. Okay, thanks for watching.